Hey, everybody. Oh, now it's a little dark. Uh, okay, well, um, I just I just did this on Periscope, but I figured I would do it here as well because um, it's a really uh, it's a really big deal. Everyone is talking about it right now, and I I want to talk to you, my audience out there, um, about about this particular subject um, because. It is, uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna open up this um, this thing a little bit because, um, okay. Well, there there we go. That's a little that's a little too bright um, because. Uh, uh, let's see here. Hey, there we go. All right. All right. That's that's a little better. Um, all right, guys. So, is it better? All right. <clears throat> so let's, uh, man, I went on for a whole minute. <laughs> anyway, um, let's talk about this billboard. Uh, Rose McGowan is just, just furious, just, uh, just really, really upset about this uh, X Men Apocalypse billboard with uh, uh, Apocalypse holding Mystique up uh, by the neck and choking her. Um, it's a, uh, it's a very it's a very visceral, very striking billboard. This uh, the same image is is uh, you know in in magazines and posters and all over the place, especially here in Hollywood. And boy, the um, uh, and not let me say this. Please hear me. I'm not attacking Rose. I'm not attacking feminists. But here here's my take. Here is the thing. Uh, I said this on my Periscope, and I'll say it here. Apocalypse is a bad guy. Surprise! Apocalypse is not just a bad guy. He's a really, really, really evil bad guy. Super duper evil. Um, Rose, here, here is what I, I, I would, I would ask of you. If, um, uh, okay, I, I didn't bring this up in my scope, but I'll bring it up here. Um, there is an amazing. 90s X-Men cartoon that went for a really long time that went really, really in depth with the entire apocalypse. Uh, they, they did a bunch of interlocking stories with apocalypse to show exactly how destructive, how manipulative, how dark he is. In this movie, they, they took it even to even deeper levels. Uh, yeah, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Close your ears if you haven't seen it. Uh, he is, you know, uh, fusing people into walls and turning them to dust with a thought and just freaking causing all sorts of destruction and mayhem uh, throughout, throughout the earth. Then he, of course, heralds his four horsemen of the apocalypse, including Magneto. So even freaking Magneto is, uh, is under his sway. Uh, although he's doing so willingly, it's kind of a, but anyway, Magneto is working for him. He's, he's got Angel, he's got Psylocke. Um, uh, 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 anyway, he is, he is tearing crap up just every which way. He's just, I mean, you know, Magneto is freaking, he's in a, he's created an impenetrable magnetic bubble to keep himself uh, 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 closed off while he's ripping the very seams of the earth from the earth. It's just, just destroying everything. And that's just Magneto. That, and 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 apocalypse is puppeting him apocalypse does not give any fox about who he fox or what he fucks up he doesn't care cuz he's freaking evil he's freaking evil he is apocalypse is one bad dude um and i said this in my scope as well uh there you know the uh, without the Without the collective X-Men team going all at him all at once, they wouldn't have had a chance. I mean, and even though they took him out, they didn't really take him out. 
They didn't show that in the movie, but that's the whole thing. The X-Men keep taking him out over and over and over. I mean, uh, uh, Shadow Cat has, has, has uh, fused, uh, has phased into him to blow apart his molecules. They've sent him, uh, the X-Men have uh, sent him into different dimensions. They have tried every possible thing to take this guy out and keep him out of commission, and it never works because he's one evil dude. Let me go back to the subject at hand. This billboard showcases exactly what it needs to showcase. That apocalypse is evil. Is it, is it a striking image? Uh, does it showcase violence? Yes, it does. Because it's supposed to. Because that is good marketing. I know that makes you so mad, Rose, and I'm so sorry. Let me tell you this, Rose. I respect you so much. I know it doesn't seem like I do, but I really do. I respect you as a person. I respect you as an actress. I am a union performer. Uh, I am a union actor, a very proud union actor. Um, there are things that I won't do. Although, as I said in my scope, I, I, I'm, I love my body. I'm very comfortable with, with my body. I'm very comfortable with my nakedness. I will be naked on camera. It allows me a freedom that I, that I can't have otherwise. I really, I, I enjoy it. Um, but there are things that I won't do. There are lines I won't cross. And I totally and completely respect you for having those lines, for having respect in your work, for having respect as your, in yourself as a person. I do, I do, I do. Please understand that I'm not attacking you or your, or, uh, 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 I, 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 I am not, I am not attacking your opinions and I'm not saying you're wrong because you make, you make good points. It's, it's a striking billboard. Striking. It's a striking image. That, that is, ah. Uh, it makes anyone that sees it uncomfortable, man or woman. It makes me uncomfortable when I look at it. But the thing is, it's supposed to. That is the marketing. That is the purpose. Apocalypse is dangerous. He's dangerous. He's the guy you want to stay away from. He's the guy in, in the alley that you never want to meet in the dark. He's, he's the monster under your bed. He is... Uh, he is that force of nature that you never want to come across because you don't have a chance. That's the whole thing. Uh, 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 what's the, what's the tagline? Ah, I can't think of it right now. Uh, uh, the tagline is perfect and I can't think of it. What's the tagline, guys? Is anyone watching this that <laughs> knows the tagline? Anyway, this billboard is... This billboard is is uh, is striking for a reason. It's supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to, it's supposed to hurt you. This billboard is supposed to hurt you, but in the right way. Because you see that, and there's no other thought that you can have other than, holy shit. Apocalypse is fucking evil. He's he's choking. He's choking one of. He's not only choking this woman. He's choking one of the most powerful X Men. He's choking. He's choking Mystique, who continually. Yes, Byron. Hello, Byron. Welcome. Yes, Apocalypse is apocalyptic. That's exactly. That's why he's called Apocalypse. Because he brings apocalypse to all that that faces him. He will destroy you with a thought. That's apocalypse's whole mantra. That's his MO, man. He, he will destroy you. He'll destroy everything around you. He doesn't care. Man, woman, child, buildings. Uh, he does... It's... Uh, because... Because as all good villains, he thinks he's doing the right thing. Every time he uh, he comes upon, 
every all with all four of his uh, uh, of his four horsemen of the apocalypse when he's approaching them when he's approaching storm when he's approaching Psylocke when he's approaching uh, Magneto when he's approaching Angel he says he says something along the lines of I'm I'm going to make this world a better place I'm I'm going to cleanse it because that's that's what these crazy people think. That's that's what they're all about, man. The the true villains are evil. That's their thing. If they're not evil, what are they? But in their evilness, they think they're doing what is right, which is the true essence of evil. He's evil, man. I don't know how many times I need to reiterate this. And 20th Century Fox, guys, guys, guys. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to say this again, Rose. I do respect you, but, uh, okay, let's go to this place. You were in Charmed. It was a villain of the week show. Every single episode, you fought a different bad guy. Every single one, they were always uh, doing all they could to take out the power of three to blow you guys out of the water, uh, magically or otherwise, however they could pull it off, usually with magic. But, you know, uh, demons and warlocks and uh, all of the, all of the big bads, they were all, uh, they were all evil dudes and they were all trying to take you out because that was their MO. That, that is, you know, and, and had there been, uh, what would, uh, would the WB have ever put out an image as visceral as, as you know, uh, uh, as them, uh, as uh, I'm trying to think of one of the good villains from Charmed, and uh, I've seen a bunch of episodes, and I I can't remember. I could look it up on IMDb, but I don't I don't want to be that guy. Um, but you know, had they made something as as dark as that, I guarantee you, guarantee you that there wouldn't have been a person that, that wouldn't have been in front of their set watching Charmed had they put out something like that. Uh, if, they had a, if they had billboards up like that with, with, with a warlock holding you, Rose, your character up by the neck, everyone would have freaking watched that. There probably would have been a, a, a surge of uh, not only feminist outcry, but general outcry, holy crap. Uh, Rose, a character who we, I know that's not your name on the show, and I can't remember what it was. I'm so sorry. I've seen so many episodes, and, uh, I'm losing pop culture points for not knowing your character on Charmed, but I can't remember it. Anyway, if there would have been a picture like that, I guarantee you, holy balls, people would have been upset. But, they should be upset. They should really, really be upset. That's the point. That's the whole porn, point of marketing bad guys. Uh, you know, oh, let's go to Dexter. Let's talk about Dexter for a moment. A serial killer that kills serial killers. Now, is he a bad guy? Yes, he is. He is a bad guy, but he's the hero of our story. He is, he is a protagonist. The antagonist is all, are all the other serial killers that he's taken out. Now, is Dexter a bad dude? Yes, he is, because he's killing a bunch of people. There are lots of other ways to take out the bad guys. Batman, Batman has lots of ways of taking out bad guys. He usually kicks their ass, but in such a way that he doesn't kill them because he's smarter than that. Now, do I not think that Dexter is a smart guy? Sure he is. He's one of the smartest guys around. He figures it out, but the point is he's still killing people. So is he evil? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's an, he's an evil guy. Do we root for him? Yes, we do. Because he's taken out all the other bad guys. I get it. I understand the, the, uh, I understand the, the character and the arc of Dexter. I get it. I like it. I like it. I think it's a great concept and that's what made it for a great show and holy crap did they do an amazing job with marketing. Oh my goodness gracious. Transmedia marketing, which is my new favorite thing. Um, oh boy, transmedia. I won't bore you with uh, everything that transmedia is, but holy crap, it's uh, 
it's the it's really the only true viable way of marketing nowadays with uh, with all that we have at our fingertips. Anyway, let's go back to the point of this stream. This billboard is a good billboard. The image is a great image. It's dark, it's scary, it's frightening, it's upsetting. It gives me a pain in my stomach. But it's a good billboard because it does what it's supposed to do. It does what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to scare the holy freaking bejesus out of you going, oh my God, apocalypse is gonna destroy me. Look out, here he comes. Oh my God, run for your lives. We're all gonna die. That's the whole point of apocalypse. That is the whole point of marketing apocalypse. That's the whole point of this billboard and, uh, and, uh, and everything associated with the marketing of this character in this film, not only in this film, this character, because he, he is going to destroy you and leave nothing left. Mystique was in some real trouble, real palpable trouble. And the X-Men together took him out, pretty much took him out. Okay, I've gone on for 16 minutes. I went on for half an hour on my scope. Uh, I don't think a lot of people are tuning into this. But, uh, Rose, I would say to you, please go to see the movie. Before you see the, before you see the movie, Wiki. Use Wiki. Educate yourself about the characters, about the X-Men as a whole, about Apocalypse, and everything that his character is. Uh, think about all of those villains that you fought in Charmed, and and what what they what they stood for as villains, and what you stood for as a hero fighting against them, because that is Mystique's stake in this. She's fighting for her life as are all of the X-Men in this movie. They're fighting not only for their lives to protect themselves, but the planet as a whole. They're fighting to protect all of humanity, the planet, all of existence, because Apocalypse can freaking warp reality because he's that powerful. Oh, I said this in my scope and I'll say it here. I don't think I've said it here yet. Apocalypse essentially has the innate mutant power of the Infinity Gauntlet already in him, in his mutant DNA. It's extraordinarily powerful. And um, so Rose, I would say, try to read some of the source material comics. Try to, uh, uh, please educate yourself on, on these characters that are involved and uh, you know all about marketing. You're a very, you're a successful actress. Um, you know, you, you know how, uh, you know how heroes are marketed. You know how villains are marketed. Um, you know, with your, with your show, you know, it was very much akin to, you know, it was, it was a villain, uh, it was a monster of the week show. Uh, much like Buffy, much like, well, although I give Buffy a lot, a lot of credit, as I do, as I do with Charmed, um, and I'll, I'd have to do a whole another stream to go on about my love of, of Buffy. Um, I did, I have seen a lot of Charmed. I haven't, I haven't watched every episode like I have with Buffy, but, but it's very much, you know, um, there, there's, there's levels of evil. You know that all the that uh, that 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 uh, that the characters are in and the characters reach. Um, I would say also, please take the time. I don't know if you ever watched Buffy, but especially season six, where it has the nerd trio, which sounds just boring as hell. But let me tell you, it was probably the best season of Buffy. 
because these nerds, they're smart. And you didn't find them evil. They didn't seem evil, but they were very evil because more so than maybe any of the other villains throughout the series, their entire, their, their, the thing with the nerds is that they just wanted to be included for most of the part, mo for most of their, the focus of, they, they never wanted to take Buffy out. Not really. Not, not until the end with, uh, Andrew. Oh my God. I hope I'm not getting this. You know what? I, I'm not going to say it to you. I, it's. I, I keep getting the names of the trio confused, and I'm very upset with myself for this. So sorry, Buffy and pop culture people. Anyway, uh, the whole thing with the nerds was that they just wanted to be part of the group. They wanted to be part of the Scooby game. That was that was their whole mo. And uh, and then uh, and then you know, uh, Tara got shot. And sorry, spoilers. <laughs> Uh, and it was a whole, it was a whole other thing that became the true, it's too late for oops. <laughs> Hi, Brian Olson. Holy crap. How you doing, man? Welcome. Welcome to this very random, uh, <laughs> uh, Facebook live session. Very good to hear from you both. I, I always hear from people that I haven't heard from in so long doing these, uh, doing these scopes and live streams. Very good to hear from you guys. Um, it's too late for oops. <laughs> That's right. But anyway, um, you know, <sighs> man, I'm sorry. I, I, I totally derailed my own track. Um, in Charmed, your character, speaking back to you, Rose, uh, fought all of these very, very evil villains. You were doing them, uh, you're fighting against these. Uh, that's so nice to hear, Brian. I'm glad you're doing well. Um, your character, the, the, the power of three, was constantly fighting against the darkness, constantly fighting against evil powers, and that, that is the nature of Apocalypse. And, and, and this thing, that is, that is the nature of evil. That is the nature of evil in the world of X-Men. And, uh, and 20th Century Fox, guys, guys, you, I, I, you're, you're, you're bowing to pressure and, and that, that really bothers me. It really bothers me because you did an excellent job. Bravo. If I wasn't holding my, my phone up, uh, with with one of my hands, I would clap for you because you uh, you did an amazing job marketing. Uh, it's a it's a brilliant marketing scheme. Uh, it, it's it's a it's you did a really good job. You did what you were supposed to do to showcase that villain as a really freaking bad guy. That's what he is. So Rose, I I would just ask you to and, and I, I know you're angry and upset. And and it's and it's showcasing a violence, but it's supposed to showcase violence. It's not about that image is not about violence to women at all. It's not. I know. I'm. I know. I'm a freaking white guy. I'm a white nerdy guy. I I get it. I know. And I'm not the best spokesperson to be talking about this. But as uh, as a fan and lover of of. Uh, of the X-Men, of, of the X-Men mythos, of the X-Men cinematic universe, uh, of, of all that they're doing in the comics and movies for all of these years and all the essence of all the amazing characters that have been a part of the X-Men at, at any particular time, especially with X-Men Apocalypse, which is such a good movie. X-Men Apocalypse is a, as good a movie, I'm gonna say this, as, uh, as, Captain America Civil War, if you haven't seen that, go see it oh, right now. It is great. 
It's a great freaking film. Film. I will reiterate, film. It's a great film. It's not just a good Marvel movie. It's not just a good uh, throw a bunch of characters in one movie movie. Uh, it's not just a great movie with Iron Man. It's not just a great movie with Captain America. It's not just a great movie with Black Panther or any uh, Spider-Man with any of the, uh, the the great characters that it includes. It's not just a great movie with any one of them. It's a great movie with all of them. It's a great movie as a movie. It's a great action movie. It's a great, uh, it's a, it's just great. It's wonderful and amazing, and so is X-Men Apocalypse. It's really well done. It's well well produced, well shot, well thought out, well written. Character arcs are great. The, uh, the viscerality of what happens to all of the characters through the power of, uh, of Apocalypse is great. Um, it's, it's terrifying and scary, and it should be, because it takes you on a ride. As a fan, I want to be taken on that ride. I want to be scared by Apocalypse. I want to be frightened. I want the X-Men to save me. I want them to save me. I want Mystique to save me. Okay? And they do. I went out there for a second. You thought it was over. Ha! You, you thought it was over. Um, I guess it could be over. I've really said all that I need to say. I just want to get this out there that the marketing team for X-Men Apocalypse knew what they were doing. Uh, it's a great marketing campaign. Apocalypse is freaking scary. Uh, and, uh, the billboard rose. I'm sorry. It's, it's not, it's not about violence against women. It's, it is about violence, but it's supposed to be. And uh, uh, I, I would say to Rose and anyone out there, whether you're a feminist or whatever label you, you apply to yourself, to continue to educate yourself. Uh, in this instance, about the X-Men, about Apocalypse, about all the times that the X-Men have tried to take him out and they couldn't. X-Men, uh, about, about uh, all the times that Mystique has gone up against him. Uh, it's, it's about struggle. It's about, uh, it's about, it's about power. It's about the power of good versus the power of evil. All of these things that are so important, not only in the realms of pop culture, but in our lives. Uh, this, this, uh... Okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm just going to keep saying the same things over and over. Um, but please educate yourselves. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Byron and Brian, thank you so much uh, for, for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Um, glad you're doing well and take care, guys.